I recently came across yet another problem with the new API route handlers in Next.js 13. I wrote some basic code that gets the current timestamp. It's supposed to update every time I refresh the page, but watch what happens. When I refresh the page, it stays the same. If you saw my last video, I talked about caching and revalidation. Normally with a server side component, you have to set the caching to no store or manually set the revalidation. But I already did that in my fetch request. I put cache no store. And I also tried to pass in the next revalidation object. But if you come to the page, you'll notice I can refresh the page and still nothing happens. So what is going on? I finally figured out this is a bug related to API route handlers that is not mentioned in the Next.js documentation. This has happened so often, and I've made so many videos about this, that I went ahead and created a playlist of Next.js API route handler videos. A link to the playlist will be in the description below, and also at the end of this video, if you're interested in watching. There are so many little things that are not in the documentation that can break your production app. You may even find that things work in development, but once you get to production, your route handlers are broken. Well, this is another situation. So here's the bug or feature if Next.js wants this to happen. I don't know. So if you look at this code, you'll notice I'm using a client side component. I'm using use effect and I'm using this function get time. This function is accessing an API that I created called date time. It's getting data from the API route handler I created in this path. So the very first time you go to this site, it will update properly. So for example, I'll shut down my server and I'll say npm run dev again. So you'll notice the very first time you go to your website, it will show you the right time. But after you go to it for the first time, the data is being cached. And even if you have something like a use effect that is supposed to trigger every time this function is used, anytime someone accesses this page, you'll find that the fetch request does not update the data on the screen. The data stays the same. The way to fix that is to use something called revalidate path. And I'm going to show you how this works right now. First, if you'd like to follow along, you can go to nextchat.ai. I created a prompt for revalidate path. It's free to sign up. There's no credit card required. Once you're logged in, you can click this global prompt library. You can search for revalidate path. The one I created is specifically this one right here, revalidate path with API route handlers. You can copy that prompt, come back to your page, you can create a new prompt, call that prompt next JS revalidate path or whatever you want. I'm going to paste the prompt there, save it, and I'm going to create a new conversation. And to access that prompt, you can say forward slash and go down to the revalidate path, click shift enter. And I'll say the data on my page is not updating. What is wrong? I'm using API route handlers. And it starts to explain how it could be due to caching. And it mentions that you can use the revalidate function to fix the problem. And I'll say, how do I use the revalidate path function? Give me an example. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and copy some of this code. So I'll copy the import revalidate path come back to my API route. And you'll notice this is the get request that's getting the timestamp using this API. Then it says the way you use it is you declare the path and then you put that path within the revalidate path function that you want to revalidate. Now, if you don't want to manually write in the path, I came back to next chat and asked, is there a way to know the path that is triggering the get request? It says, yes, you can using either rec.url or rec.next URL. And then it gave me an example of how to use rec.url. I want to use rec.next URL. So I'm just going to say use rec.next URL. So it'll show us how to do that. And the way to do that is you need to import this next request from next slash server. So I'm going to do that. I'll add that here. You can put this request as a parameter in the get function. And now the way you can get the path using the next URL function is just like this. You say path equals request.next next URL dot search params dot get and then say path and then if there isn't a path you say or just the forward slash which represents the home page so I'm gonna 
copy all of this. I'm going to come back here and I'll actually leave the notes in. So I'll paste that right there. I'll just delete this revalidate path. All right. So this should work. Now, whenever I use this API date time, get request API route handler, it should also revalidate the path. So it should update the data on the hello page. And so let's see if it works. So if you refresh the page, now you'll notice the time is automatically being updated. So this is something really important to remember. If you're ever getting data from your own server using API route handlers, then you need to be using revalidate path. It's good, just make it a habit. Right before you return a next response, just always put const path, revalidate path, right before the response, just to make sure that the data on that page is revalidated. You can also use this with server actions. If you decide to use server actions on the front end, you can update the data on the page by using this revalidate path function. And that is how revalidate path works. If you have any questions, you can put your questions in the comments below. I'll try my best to respond to all of them. There should be an API route handler playlist on the screen right now. I highly encourage you to watch all of the videos. There are so many little things that are not in the Next.js documentation about API route handlers that I've just had to learn through trial and error. I've tried my best to talk about all the issues I've faced in production in at least one of these videos. Like the video if you'd like to see more content like this. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when new content comes out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.